What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Dominique Takira and today I'm bringing you another video. Um, this time it is part two of my product stash. So um, if you've already seen part one, I showed you guys my shampoos and conditioners. And then now in part two, I will be showing you all of my gels, my um, hair products, um, like for twist outs and for... Uh, you know just moist, extra moisture and stuff like that so if you're interested in seeing what i got keep watching okay so i don't have as many products as i thought i did um a lot of stuff i stopped using because my hair changed and i no longer needed um what i was using or i just or my hair just didn't take to it anymore um like it did when i first started using it so we have less products so this video shouldn't be too too long um definitely not as long as uh part one so that's the good thing so first we're going to go ahead and start with this first product it is the jane carter solutions nourish and shine restorative butter i love this hair butter so much because it is so creamy and buttery it has like a consistency of shea butter but not as thick um it is so good for um, moisturizing hair and for sealing moisture into your hair. Most of the Jane Carter Solution products that I use are like super moisturizing and they um, hold moisture really well. So when I do get them, I make sure that I keep them stocked up because I don't wanna run out. Um, and speaking of Jane Carter Solutions, I also have the Twist and Lock Moisturizing Butter. I love this for when I'm doing twist outs. It always makes my hair turn out so soft. Uh, and this smells like lemon, like a lemon, no, key lime pie. It smells like key lime pie. It smells so good. It just smells so delicious. But yeah, this makes my hair super soft and defined. Um, my twist outs come out super bomb every time I use it. Um, I'm actually gonna be using it pretty soon because I need to do a twist out. Uh, it's your for a twist out i really am because it's been way too long and next i have the kinky curly curling custard i'm pretty sure everybody knows about this stuff it's bomb definition is always on point when you use it it tames my thick thick hair when it comes to having a wash and go i use this on my sister's hair as well we're both type four but her density is a little more than mine so yes if you want to check out a good curling custard that works on most hair types Kinky Curly Custard is the bomb. That is such a mouthful. Kinky Curly Custard, Kinky Curly Custard, Kinky Curly Custard. See if y'all can say that three times. Next product I have, I have about three of them because when I tried to find them um, around where I live, I could not find them. Well, not the blue one at least. And that is the Wet Line Extreme Gel. The blue one, um, I don't know what the difference is between these. I also have the clear one. Um, as y'all probably have seen in many, many videos. Um, sorry, y'all. I have to sniff every product because they just smell so good. <laughs> the weird sniffer. But yeah, um, the hold on these are absolutely amazing. I love them because, like I said about... Did I say this? Said in my previous video that um, they mix mostly with most things. Most things... There's not really much I... There's not really anything I've mixed with this that did not mix well or leave my hair flaky. Um, I do use these mostly for this, mostly for either wash and goes or twist outs. So yeah, if I can find the big one, um, the blue one, I'd probably have it. But so far I've only found the clear one at Target. So maybe I need to order it online apparently. Yeah. Next I have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. This um, styling lotion actually works pretty well. Um, like I said in another, uh, the part one, um, Jamaican black castor oil works best in my hair when it's like in the form of something else, like a shampoo, a leave-in, or styling lotion. So whenever I can't find something with Jamaican black castor oil in it, I definitely run it for it because my hair just soaks every bit of it up. And this is very moisturizing and it's just great, you know? It's just awesome. Next is a product that I've been obsessed with for a couple years. Um, I started using it back when I first went natural because um, my hair was just going through a process. And, you know, I needed a lot of TLC and this just gave me all of that really quickly. So 
I started using this olive oil, incredibly rich oil moisturizing hair lotion. This y'all, this was my favorite um, hair lotion. It still is one of my favorite hair lotions, but I started trying to branch off and find new ways to moisturize my hair. And um, yeah, it always left my hair moisturized and super um, soft and shiny. Next I have the Unjackies Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. Um, this is my like second one. I just recently bought this. This gel is the bomb.com. Um, it says don't shrink, but my hair is like whatever I'm gonna shrink. But other than that, this is great for wash and goes. Um, it leaves my hair seed, so um, it gives me so much definition. Um, this gel actually has a really great hold. It's perfect for wash and goes. And yeah, um, I just bought this, so I need to get it broke. I need to break it in real soon. The next thing I have is the Lotta Body, Lotta Body. <laughs> the next thing I have is the Lotta Body with coconut and shea oils, moisturize me, curling style milk. Like I said, I am, I have been um, trying to get more into hair milks and things like that instead of just always getting leave-ins and this is actually pretty great um i stopped using coconut oil a while ago but this is actually really good in my hair my hair actually drinks this up really nicely and it leaves it very soft and moisturized and yeah the last couple things i have are gels uh the first one is this edge booster strong hold styling gel um this has become one of my recent favorite gels ever like ever ever um it's just so good it's just so good the hold is perfect it does leave a um, gel cast but i personally don't mind it and the gel cast normally wears wears off for me within a couple days especially if i'm like constantly touching it or whatever this is actually i actually used it on um this hairstyle and it turned out pretty great um it gives you a nice hold and it gives you definition which is great for gels because you know Sometimes you just, you know, need the extra oomph when it comes to your gels, and this definitely does the job. The last gel that I have is the Marie's Beeswax. Um, this gel is so thick. It is so thick. The hold with the beeswax is amazing. Um, if you don't want to have to do your hair over within like, you know, a couple days, that is the perfect gel for you because it will have your hair laid for days and it will not move. You will not have to worry about it. You forgot to put your scarf on last night, it's fine. Your hair is stuck, it's not moving, you know what I mean? So, you know, if you want that, that is the gel for you. It will do the job and you don't even have to worry about nothing. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.